Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Samantha. And if you are returning, welcome back. Today I will be unboxing some Chanel skincare and cosmetic products. So this is my first time owning anything Chanel that is not a bag. And I also got this from the Holt Renfrew website, so it is not from Chanel. So if you have not gotten anything from the Holt Renfrew before, I will show you guys what it literally comes in. I am going to assume that I don't get the classic Chanel bag, wrapping, and all of that kind of stuff. So this is also why I wanted to film this video. So I'm also not wearing anything on my face. I only have lotion and everything. I only have my eyebrows, a little bit of eyeshadow, and my favorite lashes so I am going to be trying on a couple of the things and let you guys know my first impressions as well so like I said I got this from Holt Renfrew and it came with two boxes because I did order them separately I was a little bit hesitant on what to get and if it was worth it but there was a sale going on at Holt Renfrew that was about 10 to 15 percent off all makeup and skincare items and I was originally looking at this on the Chanel website but of course no sale but I coincidentally went on to Holt Renfrew and all of these items were on sale and I will put the screenshots here even though the savings are not a crazy ton, I feel like as long as I'm saving in any way possible, that's all that matters. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and it doesn't seem like it's going to be easy at all. Okay, so far it looks like this. And if I can... Oh my gosh, okay, so this is what it looks like. Just a ton of stuffing. I can see my product here. An envelope. And more stuffing. And just a little note that it's Holt Run For You and that kind of stuff. As predicted, of course, it didn't have like, you know, the Chanel bag and whatsoever. I think this is going to be my receipts. Yes, so this is my receipt on what I ordered. I'm gonna quickly do the other box too. Oh, okay, this one was a lot easier. I probably did the other one wrong. So this pops off at the top and then I get this again. This is different in this package. They both came from different stores and I'm going to unbox this. Also more. I don't think there's anything in here. So. They literally just wrapped this to make it look pretty, which I guess is good for them, but I personally don't like wasting stuff, so I probably did not need this to make it look pretty, but I mean, that's nice of them. Same thing with this, it's just wrapped up paper, which is very unnecessary. Same thing, just... Oh, oh, I don't know why I thought these were stickers, but it is a postcard or a card with illustrations on it. This is a little surprise. I mean, that's pretty cute. And there's return stickers and everything like that. And let me just check my other one. There was no illustrations on that or whatsoever. So just one of them came with this little nice card, which is cute. They're all like symbols of Toronto. If you guys don't know, I am in Toronto, Canada. So CN Tower, Maple Leaf, basketball i guess maybe because we won the last thing the rom the ttc and a coffee kensington market that's cute the raccoons and this is oh i forgot where christmas market is i forgot i don't remember oh my gosh maybe i'm not canadian or torontonian anyways so moving on to the chanel products okay that popped off i hope it's okay so they packaged them two together so which is fine so the difference is that one of them came all wrapped with tissue paper and a sticker and the other ones just came like this but the filling was wrapped so i don't know <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what i got okay i didn't need to do that anyways i got the chanel double mirror duo And it comes in this felt textured, I guess, dust bag. And then, wow, that looks so glossy. I have my ring light, so I don't wanna blind you guys, but that looks really nice. And 
It's really fingerprinty though. I mean, you can really get a lot of fingerprints on this. So I'm gonna open that. And of course, it's double-sided, so I don't want to blind you guys with my ring light. But let me see. One of them is a lot closer, and one of them is further away. So the one with the logo is normal, and then if you were looking on this side, it's a lot zoomed in. I would use lipstick on this side, and eyebrows, eyeshadows, and all that kind of stuff on this side. So this is really handy. I really wanted this, obviously, because of the aesthetics. It's Chanel, and I want something that I can put in my purse. Obviously, the ones from Sephora are so hard to open. I have no idea why, even though this one doesn't have any place for your fingers, and Sephora does, but this one is just a lot easier to open, and there's a nice click to it. The Sephora one, I don't know. But anyways, this, guys, is Chanel, so obviously. I don't know if I will be using this, Maybe, maybe not, because it does protect it and it will get scratched if keys were hit against this. So yes, that is my mirror, guys. Next, I have two lipsticks. So I will open this one first. So this one is upside down. I'm not sure. Ooh, is this supposed to do that? Anyways, this one is the Rouge Allure Velvet in the 62 Libre. I don't know. And the thing is, these two swatches are pretty alike, I have to say. And, oh. Oh! <laughs> so it clicks in, and then you can take it out, and then you just... So it would fall if you don't, so you have to push it back in. That's really cute, I like that. It feels like there's a magnet or something, because even if I don't push it, it's fine. Like I'm actually pulling on it, but anyways, that is really cool. I didn't know that. It has a little creamy smell to it. It smells good. It doesn't smell like their perfume or anything. And it's a lot smaller than I expected, but I'm not too worried about it. So fully, it looks like this. So I'll swatch it on my hand first. The color is so pretty, guys. It's so buttery and creamy and I love this color. I don't know if it'll look as good on my lips though, but time to use my mirror and see. I'll come closer to you guys. What do you guys think? So this is a 62 Libre. I actually really do like this. It's a nice rosy tint, but it's more on the mauve side and not so much bright pink. And I feel like this is a lot more flattering to my skin tone. It is similar to the MAC one that I always wear in most of my other videos, but this one is very creamy and definitely easy to apply. And I would definitely buy this again so far, but now I don't know how long it lasts. So like a whole day's wear, I don't have experience with that yet, but I wanted to get two lippies that had two different aesthetics for the outside, but coincidentally, these are actually two colors that I did like. I'm gonna jump into opening my other one now. So this is the Rouge Coco, Le Rouge Hydration Continue Ultra Hydrating Lip Color 434 Mademoiselle. And this one looks like this. Of course, this is the 62 one, and it looks like this, and this is the other one. This one is Mademoiselle and it's a lot darker, but of course it's still like pink and mauve, that kind of tone. I really do feel like mauve suits me a lot better. And I'm gonna take this off and try this one on now. So they are a little bit, if not quite similar actually, but this one seems a little bit more pink and this one has more of a little orange undertone to it. I'm not sure if you guys can see what I see. We will see what this looks like on my lips. Does it look any different to you guys? This one is actually a lot smoother to put on and it has more of a glossy sheen to it. It's very shiny versus the 62. And now that I'm looking at my hand, it actually is a lot more glossier down here. I do appreciate how they're both in different, I guess, bottles. I don't know what it's called. So I am actually happy with both products. 
there isn't much much of a difference but if i had to only buy one i feel like i might buy the 62 one because it is less glossy and less of a sheen to it it looks like right now with the mademoiselle i'm wearing lipstick with lip gloss over it or just lip gloss i do like the matte look a lot more so i feel like the 62 is my favorite but i do like both and i will keep both moving on i got this hydro beauty essence mist and I was watching Lianza's video on this and she does lots of skincare and makeup videos so I will link you her channel and the video where she talks about this product and I just wanted to see for myself how this product feels, smells, and wears and the bottle, let's see, is a lot smaller than I thought for the price but of course it's Chanel. I don't even know if I have to shake this. You can do this before your makeup or after your makeup and it's supposed to hydrate your skin. Do I have to read the instructions? I'm just gonna spray it. I just know you have to do a little cloud and spray it. Okay, it has a fragrance to it. But to me, I feel like it's better than the Chanel perfumes. Like I personally, as much as I do like Chanel, I don't like their perfumes. It kind of smells like old grandma vibes, not in like, not in a bad way, but not in the best way for me. I wouldn't wear their perfumes. I do like the bottles, aesthetics, and everything, but this does smell very refreshing. It definitely can make you feel like you're hydrating your skin based on just a smell alone. But I don't really feel anything on my face. I feel like I'll do it again. Mm. This can be addicting. I'm just saying that now. Like I do feel a little bit more refreshed, but do I feel like my skin is moisturized? Probably not, probably better off with a moisturizer, but I will say that it smells and feels really nice while it's on, but I would definitely use this before makeup, I guess. Just in general, so I don't have any cracks on my face because in the winter, my nose, for some reason, it just cracks. Like I have skin that flakes off and everything so i feel like this might help along with some moisturizers will i get this again probably not because it's 80 dollars, and i'm going to see how this obviously goes on my face and if it does any difference so the last item i have is this beautiful chanel Le beige eau de Tente water fresh tint in medium plus i got all of this online so i have no idea what shade i am but i feel like medium plus will work all I know is that you have to put it on your hand first, a pump, and then mix it in circular motions until the sheen breaks down and then you apply it to your face. I am going to do that now since I don't have anything on except for the mist and that doesn't really matter. I'm really close to you guys. I'm going to do... Ooh, that's a lot. It's very runny. So I think this is good for my skin color. Let's see. It looks like water on my hand. That's how light this is. So I read that this is really good for people who just want something really light and that I guess don't already have any blemishes that they need to fix or whatever. And it's not full coverage at all, so. I'm gonna do one more pump for my forehead and that's it. Okay, so I have it all over my face now and I would say it's a very, very light finish so with this product i feel like i'm okay with it it doesn't bother me because i don't really need foundation or concealer to begin with so i think if i use this and just put some setting powder on i would be okay with going out or even filming it's kind of nice of a dewy finish and it's very lightweight which i really like a lot i hate that cakey feeling when i just like smile and i can see like those wrinkles and all of that and I can feel it that it's really heavy so I'm actually impressed with this I know there are lots of people that don't like it but it could be that 
they have different skin types or they're looking for something that has a lot more coverage because it isn't cheap and to not have anything i guess cover at all it can seem a little bit underwhelming because you are paying for something you would kind of feel like it should cover more but that is not the case with this it is really just a little water tint it's really just supposed to be moisturizing and lightweight so even on my hand this looks like a spray of water and it is very light and i love the feeling of it let me see if i can cover that very little but if i set it with powder it wouldn't be an issue so i do have eye bags and they're not terrible depending on the lighting but it definitely doesn't cover it so you might have to do your own concealer and all of that but all in all i'm actually okay with this it came out a lot better than i thought i am using medium plus and i don't think it's that far off especially because it's mostly just the pigments and the liquid that you mix and then it blends in with your skin tone i definitely could have probably gotten regular medium but i feel like summer obviously i'm gonna get a little darker and it kind of works out in my opinion so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed me unboxing and testing these things out this is really an honest first impression from the unboxing and to using it i hope this video helped for those of you who are looking to get these products as well and i'm going to say overall with this experience i would give it an 8 or a 9 out of 10 because this is exactly what i was looking for i was not disappointed at all like i knew that the shades that i picked were very similar and it is something that i would definitely wear and not waste I was also looking for a very light foundation tint to my face because I didn't want something so thick, especially during quarantine. If I were to wear a mask and go outside, I hate that foundation feeling. So this is really nice and light. And to begin with, I also don't really need that much foundation. So this is something that I am really looking forward to using constantly and hopefully will probably repurchase after finishing this bottle. So the only thing I have to say is that I will rebuy everything that I got today except for this mist. Now, I'm only saying that because I haven't had a full experience on using this and seeing how well it lasts on my face, how I feel throughout the day because we are at home and just not really outside when it's dry. So this I'm going to have to debate on, but everything else I would really give it a 10 out of 10. There are lots of people that don't like the tints, but of course that depends on what you are looking for for your skin type and that kind of look. This is really for that no makeup makeup look. Of course, if you have like red lipstick and bold eyebrows, then it's going to seem like you're missing your foundation. But if you just wake up, wanna do your brows lightly, throw on maybe a light lash or just an eyeliner and you're using this, it's going to give you that really dewy natural look, I would say. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, if you haven't already, it would mean so much to me if you guys would subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.